Hello and welcome to Pharmacomania. I am Dr. Shahnaz Malik and we are going to discuss antiretroviral therapy part 2. Now, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome was first characterized by in 1980s and attributed to human immunodeficiency virus. Usually virus are RNA is transcribed from DNA but HIV is single stranded RNA retrovirus. They are retro because DNA is transcribed from RNA. So it is reverse transcription occur and enzyme is used for reverse transcription is reverse transcriptase enzyme. Viral RNA dependent DNA polymerase. So DNA is formed from RNA in HIV virus. So AIDS are two type HIV1 and HIV2. HIV1 infection is worldwide when HIV2 infection occurs in Western Africa and India. Majority of viral infection are self-limiting but in HIV whenever infection occur it causes continue declining of CD4 T lymphocyte cell and cell mediated immunity collapsed and massive opportunistic infection and malignancies appear and leading to death and AIDS is the end stage of chronic HIV infection. Now structure of HIV virus is basically similar to other viruses except HIV virus having enveloped contain surface protein like uh, uh, glycoprotein 120 and glycoprotein 41. So glycoprotein 120 is the knob are attached from to the envelope and uh, between knob or uh, glycoprotein 120 and envelope there is stock. It is glycoprotein 41 and it is antigenic and facilitate viral attachment to CD4 cell of T lymphocyte. Now core genome contain RNA along with three gene GAG, POL and N. So GAG and POL gene code for the formation of reverse transcriptase enzyme, reverse transcriptase integrase and protease enzyme and N gene is responsible for formation of glycoprotein 120 and glycoprotein 41. Now here is the HIV cycle whenever infection occur virus is attached to CD4 or CCR4 or CCR5 receptor with uh, glycoprotein 120 or glycoprotein 41 and after attachment this membrane of um, cell as well as envelope are diffuse and viral enter into the host cell and it uncoat. After uncoating, RNA is convert into viral DNA in presence of uh, reverse transcriptase enzyme. Now, viral DNA enter to into the host DNA and in presence of integrase enzyme, it integrates into RNA, uh, RNA and mRNA. Now genomic RNA the further with help of host ribosome it produces uh, protein and protein synthesis occur and uh, maturation of new viron in presence of protease enzyme and protease action occur and after formation of mature viron this viron budding out from the cell and uh, goes for the, toward the new cell to infect. Uh, prime target of viral attachment are helper lymphocyte have CD4 expression on their surface. The surface glycoprotein of virus glycoprotein 120 on the HIV envelope uh, which bind to CD4 and also chemokine core receptor 4 in early stage and in later on it can bind with the chemokine core receptor 5 and 
now viral glycoprotein c uh, g41 are fused with a viral envelope and which the with the plasma membrane of t lymphocyte cell after fusion of virus with host cell membrane the virus enter into the target cell a uh, letter is translated into viral protein by host ribosome and the new viral is as then assembled and undergoes process of maturation a resultant mature viral then bud out from the cell membrane to infect other cell until the immune response is fed here is the various group of the anti retroviral drug so first is the nucleoside reverse transcriptase enzyme inhibitor non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors protease inhibitor entry inhibitor ccr5 receptor inhibitor and integrase inhibitor these all drug are act on the various stages of the virus cycle so here is the mechanism where drug are acting so first in first entry stage uh, entry inhibitor and ccr5 inhibitor act to inhibit the entry of the virus second is the nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor and non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor it act on the reverse transcriptase enzyme and inhibit the elongation of the uh, viral dna uh, third drug is integrase inhibitor this is the act on the integrase enzyme and inhibit the production of mra mrna and um, rna and uh, last group is the protease inhibitor which uh, inhibit the protease enzyme and in inhibit the maturation of the virus objectives of uh, antiretroviral therapies are to suppress hiv replication to reduce viral load improve immune status of patient and to prevent emergence of drug resistance to prevent opportunistic infection and to improve quality of life of patient now principles of the therapy uh, there must be combination of a different group of the drug to, from the different mechanism of action to uh, produce maximum synergistic effect and reduce the chances of resistance so in combination there must be two nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor group drug and one drug from the other group like non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor or integrase inhibitor or protease inhibitor so drug must be used in combination therapy now criteria for anti retroviral therapy so according to national aids control organization launched the national aids control program from december 1999 to decrease spread of hiv Uh, as uh, per national aids control program guideline anti retroviral therapy should be started in all hiv patient uh, infected patients irrespective of cd4 count or clinical stages treatment is for lifelong and combination of anti retroviral drug should be used in such combination therapy given the name h a a r t heart means highly active anti retroviral therapy heart is the backbone of hiv pharmacotherapy heart regime contains single pill or single tablet regime to facilitate better compliance to be taken once or twice a day uh, it do not require any time bound with meal or any a drug and uh, do not require re refrigeration or special preparation and exert uncomfortable to patient efficacy of heart uh, is uh, high still patient viral load is not fully suppressed and there are chances of non compliance of patient so here the role of uh, doctor patient and pharmacist patient is very important to communicate or counsel the patient to uh, make the heart successful in spite of fully compliant heart that rapidly kill the 99% of, uh, of hiv virus a small number of virus still survive in cd4 lymphocyte which may rise the relapse whenever the treatment is stopped 
further relapse may occur in spite of the continued heart and achieve almost aviremia and good uh, CD4 cell count. It occurs because of HIV reverse transcriptase mutation, uh, highly versatile and prone to mutate. Some of the mutation confer uh, resistance to one or two antiretroviral co-medication drug. So this is very important to design combined antiretroviral drug regimen. Now principles formulating heart regime. Regime should have at least three drug belonging to different class of antiretroviral drug. Uh, one drug should be from non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor and two drugs from nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor group. So, one nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor should be lemivudine and another one should be from uh, zidovudine or stevudine, one of the drug from the these two. One drug from non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor and drugs are efavirenz and nevirapine. So, one of the drug from these two. So, efavirenz can be given in the condition where hepatic dysfunction is there or patient is receiving rifampicin. In this condition, efavirenz is drug of choice. When efavirenz should not be included in regime and pregnant woman or those likely to get pregnant. So, in this condition, uh, nevirapine is the drug of choice. Three drug from nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor group can be given as when there is a non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor cannot be used. For the treatment of naive patient, protease inhibitor should be avoided because it produces more adverse effect including metabolic syndrome. So protease inhibitor containing regime are two nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor plus one protease inhibitor or one nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor uh, second drug is non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor and third drug is the protease inhibitor should be it should be reserved for those patients who have failed previous regime. Ritonavir is uh, inhibiting CYP3F4 enzyme in low dose it should be included as a pharmacokinetic booster because it inhibits CYP3F4 enzyme and increase the concentration of co-administered um, drug. So, uh, it uh, increases the half-life of another drug. Cobicis state is also enzyme inhibitor and it is non-antiretroviral drug but it is pharmacokinetic booster and uh, it is included in heart regime. Uh, if toxicity of the drug in regime develop, either the entire regime should be uh, stopped or offending drugs should be replaced. So the treatment should be for lifelong and drug holiday should not be permitted and antiretroviral therapy also required for the post exposure prophylaxis as well as vertical transmission to child during perinatal and postnatal period in case of mother is HIV infected for prophylactic purpose for inhibition of vertical transmission during perinatal and postnatal period. Women who are on uh, already on heart or who are not taking any kind of therapy should start the regime and should continue through delivery and during postnatal period to prevent vertical transmission. According to National AIDS Control Organization, first line antiretroviral regime in adult patients are two drugs from nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor group and one drug from integrase inhibitor. So, tenofovir and lemivudine are from nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor group and one drug dolutegravir is from integrase inhibitor group. So, uh, fixed dose combination of tenofovir 300 mg, lemivudine 300 mg and dolutegravir 50 mg in fixed, uh, fixed dose combination should be used daily. 
alternative first line uh, regime if first line drug uh, are not uh, used then alternative therapy can be given they are in uh, three drug combination abacavir lamivudin and dalutegravir or tenofovir lamivudin and ifavirenz or tenofovir lamivudin and dalutegravir this three drug combination used day in do daily doses plus tablet dalutegravir 50 mg can be added if patient is on anti anti tubercular drug containing rifampicin and viral load monitoring is required if first line drug causes resistance then second line drug can be given uh, zidovudin lamivudin plus atazanavir or ritonavir this is the second line uh, antiretroviral regime in adult for pregnant women uh, antiretroviral drug should be started in all a pregnant woman with hiv respective of cd4 count uh, and uh, who clinical stages a fixed dose combination of tenofovir 300 mg lamivudin 300 mg and dalutegravir 50 mg is recommended in hiv positive pregnant women Uh, now infant of woman on the art should be received syrup nevirapine daily for 6 week if mother is not taking antiretroviral therapy then nevirapine plus zetovudin should be given to infant from birth to 6 to 12 week of age duration depend on whether patient, um, infant is uh, on breast milk or not now prophylaxis of hiv infection for pre exposure prophylaxis in condition where high risk of hiv infection included heterosexual men women and iv drug abusers in this condition two drug combination should be given day for daily uh, drugs are tenofovir disoproxyl fumarate 300 mg daily plus amtricitabine 200 mg daily this combination or tenofovir plus lamivudin should be given for daily now post exposure prophylaxis like uh, uh, who are uh, who had already exposed to sexual exposure needle prick injury uh, exposure to blood breast milk csf pleural fluid and pericardial fluid so those uh, who are uh, exposed to a certain condition has to take post exposure prophylaxis preferred regime for post exposure prophylaxis in adult and adolescents fixed dose combination of tenofovir 300 mg lamivudin 300 mg and del dalutegravir 50 mg in single tablet and it's uh, it should start within 2 hour of the exposure and uh, should continue till 28 days and alternate regime is tenofovir lamivudin lopinavir or ritonavir thank you for watching the video